Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters, wherever you are, I pray that this Ramadan is showering you with its blessings, that you are dropping those bad habits, picking up those good habits, inshallah, and excelling in every way, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Alhamdulillah, thank you for all the great questions you guys have been sending in. Uh, one of the questions which was sent by a, a revolutionary sister out there, uh, is a really good question actually, she asked, what should we do when our own family members reject the Islamic revolution. This is a recurring theme, sister. You should know that you are not alone. This is something that I've heard from a number of revolutionary youths out there, and uh, it's something that a lot of revolutionaries have to go through, where their own family members reject the truth. They reject the idea of wilayatul faqih, and uh, you'll hear from them much annoying talk. What does the Qur'an say in this matter? It says, we're going to read Surah Qasas, verse 56. First the English, so that we can have the meaning. Then we're going to recite the Arabic, inshallah. Okay, so it says, Surely you cannot guide whom you love, but Allah guides whom he pleases, and he knows best the followers of the right way. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنك لا تهدي من أحب إنك لا تهدي من أحببت ولكن الله يهدي من يشاء وهو أعلم بالمهتدين The sooner we let it out of our hearts and we realize we don't have the ability to guide anyone. Allah's the guide. As soon as we let go of that, things will become a lot clearer and a lot easier. Now, does that mean that we should stop speaking about the Islamic revolution? We should stop speaking about Islam? No, because in another place, the Quran says, فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّ ثَعْتَ ذِكْرَ Remind them, for surely the reminder benefits. Why should we then talk about Islam? Because Allah wants us to talk about it. We're gaining reward by talking about it, by spreading the message. Okay. Now look at the next verse. What does it say? It says, and they say, the people who reject, right? they say, if we follow the guidance with you, if we follow that which you're guiding us towards, we're going to be carried away from our country. Is this not the attitude that a lot of people have? They're actually afraid of following the Islamic revolution, following Wilayatul Faqih, because in the backs of their minds, they're actually thinking, if I follow this, I'm going to be exiled from my country. I'm going to be kicked out. I'm going to be imprisoned. I'm going to have to go through oppression and persecution. A lot of people are not ready to accept that, and so they fabricate ideas and arguments, which are all false and uh, very shallow arguments, to reject that reality. What you're going through is nothing new. The Prophet went through the same thing. Right? And we should actually be thankful that Allah is helping us to get a glimpse of the pain that the Prophet wasallam went through. There are three things that I want to tell you. All the revolutionary brothers and sisters out there who feel this pain at their own family members rejecting the Islamic revolution. First thing is first. You need to be firm on your faith. All right. Never back down. You need to strengthen your iman in the Islamic revolution. Recognize that it truly is the path which is leading up to the dhuhr of Imam Mahdi. Okay, and in order to do that, you need to get connected to good scholars, like reputable scholars. And I'm going to say it on the level, those scholars which Islamic Pulse, for example, has promoted. That's the first thing. Right. And how do you get connected? You need to get connected to the Quran, dear brothers and sisters. You don't even need scholars half the time. Trust me, dear brothers and sisters, you don't even need me. Go to the Quran and see what it says. For those of you who have a clean heart and a clean conscience, you truly want to be guided, go to the Quran directly. Allah himself will teach you. Ittaqullah, the Quran says, have fear of Allah, have taqwa, God consciousness. Allah himself will teach you.
So first and foremost, we need to strengthen our own faith, have those arguments so solid inside our own minds and our own hearts, have such a firm love on the path of Wilaya that all those Takfiri Wahhabis, all those Shirazis and adherents of British Shiaism, all those Zionists, all of our enemies, whatever they throw at you, it will just bounce off. You will be strong enough to bear it, inshallah. So that's the first thing. Strengthen your own Iman. Second thing, don't get disheartened. Really, don't get disheartened. It can be incredibly frustrating when your own family members don't listen to you. And even though you're giving them all the arguments and you're telling them how it is and you're showing them things which to you seem really, really obvious. And they are obvious and they are clear. But for whatever reason, Allah is not guiding your family at this point in time. Okay. Um, Recognize again that this is a path that the prophets went through, that the Ahlul Bayt والسلام, had to go through, and Allah is giving us a glimpse of that path. We should be very thankful for that. Okay. And the third and final thing is move on. There are over 7 billion people in the world today, right? They all need to hear this message. Right. Get connected to other Islamic revolutionaries out there online. Engage in the soft war, in jihad al-tabi'in, the jihad of making things clear and reach out to non-Muslims also. You'll see that people in the West particularly are hungry for the Islamic revolution. They can see the corruption of their governments. They want to stage an uprising. They want to fight back. They want to at least at the very least. Uh, expose those tyrannical uh, elements in their governments. And when they see that Islam is offering them a divine path which enjoins us to do Nahyan uh, al-Munkar, forbidding the evil, they are going to come towards this path afwaja in great flocks. At that time, dear brothers and sisters, respected elders and fellow comrades out there, you should know that those same people who initially rejected, many of them are actually going to circle back and they're going to come onto this path when they see these masses coming towards the Islamic revolution. And at that time, it may even be quite irritating because a lot of them will be like, yeah, yeah, we were always with the Islamic revolution. We never rejected it. Yeah, right. OK. Uh, but this is a pattern that uh, history has gone through. And, you know, history will repeat itself. And... Um, so that's it. So number one, strengthen your own Iman. Number two, treat your family with love and respect, but don't get disheartened and frustrated to the point where you're constantly trying to convince them. You know? Number three, move on. The world is bigger and you have much more important things to do. Gain the thawab, gain the ajr, the divine reward of being loving and kind to your family, but don't get stuck up on them. Move on. I pray that inshallah, Allah gives us the life of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad and the death of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad.